Perfecto. Checks. You need to 
Therefore, if you know you will be changing platens between products, such as 10 to 1 and 4 to 1 throughout the day due to a promotion, price, that way you will avoid disruption during the rush, as you will already know what time of setting you will need to use for each product. In 24-hour restaurants, beef integrity temperature and product settings correct. Have all sections of the grill been turned on for at least 30 minutes? And, if this is applicable to your model of grill, are the steam deflectors fitted correctly? Visually inspect the raw product. Check for signs of freezer burn or partially thawed patties. We will remove rules, one temperature from the center of each patty burned. There are two standards that must be met when completing beef and dairy. Wearing a blue glove, cook a full run of sausage patties on the designated platen following normal patty placement guidelines. As soon as the platen rises, remove patties two at a time in the order that they were laid. Place the four corner patties onto a breakfast base and the remaining patties into a UHC tray. Immediately after all the sausage is removed, probe the first patty. It is critical that temperatures are measured immediately after all patties are removed from the grill. This is because the patties begin to cool as soon as they are pulled. Remember that you need to probe at an angle midway through the depth of the patty at the center. It is critical to allow a few seconds for the temperature of each reading to stabilize before removing the probe. Continue to probe the remaining corner sausage patties using the same procedure in the order that they were removed from the grill. All four temperatures must be at or above 69 degrees Celsius to meet the food safety standard, and one patty must be between 69 to 74 degrees Celsius to meet the quality standard. Note that even though the other three temperatures were higher than 74 degrees Celsius, this test run meets the quality standard because of the one that tested between 69 and 74 degrees Celsius. It's normal to have temperature variations on the same run. These patties are moist and tender and cooked just right. However, in this example, we can see that two of the temperature readings were below the food safety standard of 69 degrees Celsius. All four internal temperatures must be at or above the food safety standard. Therefore, this run must be discarded. If the internal temperatures are not meeting the food safety or quality standard, troubleshoot between crew procedures, raw product, and equipment. to verify that all of the internal temperatures meet both the food safety and quality standard. Refer to your equipment manual for instructions on increasing the cooking time. This test run is unacceptable from a quality point of view and must be discarded. Repeat these tests until all operational grill platens have been checked. If one platen of the grill will be used to cook two types of beef patties during the day, make sure to do a complete check on both types of patties. Record the corresponding platen number in the space indicated on the daily food safety checklist. It's important to have an accurate history of each platen, so make sure all managers know how they are numbered. It's important for beef quality that patties are seasoned and removed as quickly as possible after the platen begins to rise and within the target removal times. To meet the food safety standard, all internal temperatures must be at or above 69 degrees after cooking. At least one of the four internal temperatures to measure must meet the quality standard of an internal temperature between 69 and 74 degrees Celsius. External color, for example, opening new boxes of meat, stock taking or checking delivery temperatures. Raw meat can only be handled with blue gloves. Once raw meat is handled, the blue gloves must be discarded to prevent cross-contamination. <laughs> We should be checking the raw product on arrival into the restaurant. Open the first carton from the delivery in the freezer. Check the carton for the use-by date. Wearing blue disposable gloves, should you check with another box of beef patties. We should not accept frozen stock that is warmer than minus 12 degrees Celsius. If this applies to your restaurant's regulations, record the product number of patties needs to be cooler than minus 12 degrees Celsius. Patties should separate easily. We need to check that the patties are pinkish. Visually inspect one in every ten boxes, beginning with the first box of each product off the delivery vehicle. Check the boxes for signs of damage and possible contamination to the product. 
If your meat does not meet the required characteristics, it must not be used. Troubleshoot to find the cause of the problem and take action to resolve the issue. You must adhere to the secondary shelf life of meat patties in the grill side freezer as per your proper quality reference guide. Not doing so will lead to thawing and undercooked patties. When checking equipment, look at the following. Are all sections of the grill turned on? Is the grill calibrated correctly? Oi. Check its calibration using the appropriate MRC. Check for excessive carbon buildup around the upper platen and on the release sheet. Ensure that they are cleaned thoroughly during closing every day. If it's applicable to your model grill, check that the front steam deflector panel is in place correctly 